Alright, so welcome to a new part of Dragon Age Origins. Um, I gotta stop saying um or I'm recording. That's the one thing I hate doing. <laughs> 100 videos and I still start off with all my uh, intros with um. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just begin the next chapter. It's finally starting to open up a little bit. The game is. We'll actually be able to control where we go from now on. But uh, I just want to give a little shout out to anyone who just followed this for ban. Uh, thank you for tuning in and just continue to uh, just let me know what I can do better. Without further ado, let's begin. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you, or anyone. Bantegan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantegan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Damn, burn. That was a comeback of the century. <laughs> Shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's cute. That's real cute. Cursed creatures. As you wish. Outnumbered. Only one shall stand. Oh shit, I'll do it. This damn thing is insane. Let's go ahead and knock it out. Huh. It's friendly. Those darkspawn didn't hurt you, boy, did they? Oh, yeah, this is the same bar we held back at Oscar. Okay, cool. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. <laughs> I've always wanted a dog like this. Maybe it's meant to be. He can come, but he better, better make himself useful. No, I don't to say that. Oh, cool. Uh... I always wanted to name my dog Pepper. I actually had a black lab named Pepper once. <laughs> I love that little dog. He actually ended up getting uh, ran over one day. Broke my heart. I had to dig his grave. This should be easy enough. 
Good thing is, though, at least he had puppies. Which was nice. Let me switch back to my bow. Oh, cross crossbow. My bad. Now we can move on. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. <laughs> Led by an elf, of all things. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. The ten silvers, um, I can go ahead and pay them, but I don't think I want to. Yeah, let's just say we're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got a pay. Yeah. You're toll collectors, then. <laughs> Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> Perhaps you should charge more than fixing the highway. I think not. Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Yeah, I'm not paying, period. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Good luck, asshole. You can certainly try. Yes, intimidate. Let's see if we can do that. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. Hmm. I can move on to say you're too kind, or let's just actually get to the fight. We actually do this. You don't say. He is really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. Excellent do no day. <laughs> My bad. An excellent donation. Thank you. you no, know I'm changing my mind. I'm getting rid of these guys. And just when we had things settled. Yeah! Screw it. Let's switch to the melee real quick. Stun this dude real quick. I know if we actually get him knocked out, it'll stop the counter. So it's best just to go after him. I think we, we surrender. Well together. We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. This is a shoddy operation. I could do better. <laughs> Damn. Get by, you're a criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Wow, that's a very bland apology. All right, uh, I want some questions answered. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. What's going on in Lothering? It's packed full. The band took his men north with Ter and Loghain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? From robbing from other families. That's... Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Ter and Loghain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Huh. So he just wanted to make sure no Grey Wardens were actually in Ferelden to tell their side of the story. Alright. Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south. Chasing from the wilds and farm holders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. Didn't you say you get to ransack my corpse? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? Couple, maybe. A group of wounded ash warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. Well, then let me go! Let me see. You'll follow my lead. I could use some soldiers. Then start running. Don't come back. Uh, let's let's get back what they stole first off. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn you in. But there aren't any. Just the Templars, and and they'll execute me. Oh wow. Come with me. To, I'll execute you here. I'm not gonna do that. I, I mean, I do get that desperation breeds stupidity, and this is one of those cases. But killing isn't really gonna help the case here, so I'm just gonna let him go. Bless you. The dark spawn can have this place. On it. Look at that. Sir Hendrick. Hmm. Fallen Templar. Did these guys actually kill him? So many of my fellow knights have been searching for the urn. Surely one of them must have found Brother Genevieve by now. Oh, this is the urn of sacred ashes. I know this quest. This is right after the uh, Red Cliff quest. Alright. Go ahead and take this. Take this. Oh, this is a lot better than I want to have. Let me go ahead and get rid of this ash bow. And I'll take that. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. I forget. These two just do not like each other. Their, their interactions are just hilarious. You have been quiet, Alster. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I'll figure it out. Let's just keep going. No, let's, um... Save some news first before we decide. But we need to decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? <laughs> not really. No, not yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Uh, is there any way to contact the Grey Wounds? Let's actually see if we can actually get some more help. Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalp Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Couldn't you just send a raven or something? Or some kind of other communication? Why are you leaving it up to me? That's a good point. <laughs> Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Aliman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Yeah, so it's pretty much all up to me. Obviously, I'm the main character. <laughs> Let's see what Morgan wants to do. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Oh. I'm not sure any of this is a good idea. It's actually number two. I can give you directions, if you like. 
My clan fled north. We won't find them. That's probably about the, uh, the elves. There must be other Dalish in Ferelden. In fact, I'm sure of it. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. Oh, okay. Uh, what about, uh, the Circle of Magi? That would be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter. Whoever that is. This cupid dog actually whines. <laughs> Alright, uh, what about Arl Emond? He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. And lastly, the dwarves. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. What about Logang? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Yeah, I actually remember actually going to uh, Denerim the first time to see if I actually could do it, and you couldn't. <laughs> then you have a plan. Let's get going, I guess. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. So, actually, I think I have something for the dog, don't I? Hmm. I actually do. Nice. That's kind of cool. Let's just look around. Maybe we can actually find something. Maybe even talk to some people. The blight has truly come, and the king is dead. We're all going to die. Let's pause the thinking there. Let's... Let's talk to her. I'm scared. When are we going home? I want to go home. There's nothing here. Maybe this farmer has something to say? Need something. I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. I am telling you, it is just... <laughs> Every time I talk to anyone, it's like, what do you talk... What do you want, elf? <laughs> You have something against elves? I don't know you. Why shouldn't I have something against you? We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Nothing but trouble. I can make trouble for you, human. Is that what you want? <laughs> it's a little aggressive. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. Uh, were those bandits always outside your village? Were? You mean they're gone? I drove them off. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Who's in charge of this village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. Who's the Elder? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. What isn't? We've got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalenhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. Don't let me stop you. No, no. He was a little a delight. You can tell that he's a little chicken, so that's funny. What happened to the king is so terrible. Hey. Nothing here. Yeah, I... Oh, look, there's some more stuff over there. Hold on. So there's I some people you can talk to. Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Right. After two of you that remain, are you not the sea... Your Grey Warden here. I find it curious that you allow another to lead. Find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Warden, or simply a purpose? What do you want to do? That I prefer to follow. I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> Like I said, the interactions between those two were so hilarious. You there. 
If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Did you know there are the bandits outside the village? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Well, at least he's nice. Those eyes are creepy as hell. I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. Is there anyone in charge here? The ban has marched north with Tern Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. So, Elder Miriam. Okay. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. That's a good point, I guess. I don't like this place. Why did we come here? Why are you standing on that? That's my question. <laughs> it's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn Horde. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune! I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts! You wouldn't dare! Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. It warms the heart. Oh! You there! You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <laughs> Get rid of the tiny part and I'll consider it. Why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Huh. <laughs> Can you beat that offer, sister? You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Damn. Solve this yourselves. I'm not getting involved. Fair enough. Time to go, priest. So I can decide to just not get involved at all. Or to just uh, drive them off. Hopefully this Persuade works. I'm not sure. I don't think Intimidate actually uh, worked last time on that bridge. Well, I think it did, kind of. Because they actually did back off. So, we'll see. Perhaps. If that woman agrees I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Ugh, I actually got minus three. Sucks. Uh, cured leather boots. No, I don't need those. Fancy vase. Nice. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Maybe I am. Let's see what you got. All right. Just don't buy everything up. <laughs> this guy's kind of being a dick. All right. Chasing flat blade. I kind of want to keep that one. That will sell this. I want to keep this one right here. Actually, I will sell that one. I want to keep uh, the flawed fire crystal longbow. We'll sell the darkspawn battle axe. I'm not even sure why I even have that. I will sell one of those. 
I will sell both those. I don't need them. Cured leather armor. That's the same thing I have right now. That's worse. That's better, but I don't need both of them. I just need one. Borok the True King. That's a shield. I don't really use that that much. I will actually get rid of this one. Don't need it. Uh, Daily Shield. Get rid of that one. I can't wait to get the rest of the Blood Dragon plates. That seems really interesting. Let's go ahead and sell... I do want to keep the runes, just in case. Topaz and everything else. Sell, sell. Tribal Necklace. I want to keep that one. Sell both that. Garnet. Sell that. Fancy Vase. Looks expensive. Wolf pelts. Oh yes, thank you. I want to keep the blank value because I think you can actually use that for later. The gifts, I'm not sure how to approach that one. Lifestone. I'll keep that one. Alright, so I got six hundred. So I can actually kinda get some new stuff. Chanters. Let's see. Dwarven steel. I can't equip that, but it's really expensive. More interested in getting some armor so I can actually get a little more useful, but all this requires. Actually, I can probably get the chainmail, technically, but. Well, never mind. Actually, yes, I can. I can get the chainmail. Fatigue's gonna be a little bit better, but the armor would actually help out a little bit. I did not know I had some bitch. I'll sell that one back. So I have a chainmail boots. I have two chainmail boots. Go ahead and sell. I'll keep the gray iron ones. So I have all that. All right. So there's different kinds. I just realized that chainmail gloves actually come with steel, iridium, iron. So I need to look at that when I'm actually purchasing them too. No thing about accessories. I. Definitely need to actually get, if I can. He doesn't have any of those, what you call it, damn. I mean, the flask. I could actually make some healing kits, but never mind. All right. Let's go ahead and equip some of this armor. I know that it's going to be a little different. Hold on. So that brings my armor to 510. That brings it. It is a little bit less, but it's cool. Chainmail gloves. Do better for me anyway. Alright, that's cool. What about Alistair? Barbarian helmet. Oh, what's that look like? That changed my armor so much. What is that? That is cool. And now it's actually not as... Okay. Barbarian helmet, I'll do that. Sprint mail gloves. That's weaker. That's stronger. He has gray iron as well. Alright. I'll probably end up selling that or give it to another different party member. Alright. Uh, let's just look around for some more stuff to find. Look at that. Greetings to you, good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or or anything? <laughs> I have nothing to spare for better beggars. Damn, this game is rough. <laughs> what happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves like us. 
Surely you understand. The armor looks so weird. What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry for your situation. I met those bandits. I drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. That is so weird. The actual armor is changing. Scythe Black. Hold on. Let me uh, check this out real quick. Yeah, it's not supposed to be doing that. That's so weird. See, now it's not doing it. Which is so weird. I don't know what was going on. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? What did I do? I'm coming. I don't like this. Have you seen my mother? Um. What? Who is your mother? Actually, no. Let's uh, let's do this one. Some mean men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could. So I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Ah, uh, so a Bambi situation. That's sad. If you want, you can come with me. I can find a finder for you. Yeah. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Go to the Chantry... You know where your father is. Here, actually, here, just take a silver. Maybe buy something to eat. A whole silver! Wow, thank you. So, um, are you really an elf? Yep. <laughs> Did my ears give, give me away? <laughs> yes, why do you ask? Yeah. Father says elves aren't very nice, but you're nicer than everybody here. Thank you for helping me. I'm not sure why, but I'm making a lot of weird, like, graphical problems. Give me one second, I'm gonna restart my game real quick. Alright, we're back. I reloaded my game. Hopefully it actually works. I'm not sure why. It would, uh... As you wish. But not, but... I don't know, let's see. Let's actually go to an interaction. Oh, the board. Yes, let us run errands for the betterment of mankind as well as a few coppers. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Um. Okay. Greetings? Yeah. <laughs> Smile back. <laughs> you don't talk much, do you? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Is he touched in the head or something? <laughs> uh, what, what's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Hmm. Huh. Um, okay. Anything, anything of interest in the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Okay, let's see what this is about. Uh, looks like there's bandits all across here. Let's go ahead and accept. Alright, so, sorry about that, uh, cut. <laughs> So this game is crashing a lot on my PC. I think I figured it out. Hopefully I figured it out. This is having a rough time with this for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I'm gonna go ahead and right. just continue on. Nope, not taking that. Don't need that. Oh, there's some other stuff right here. Don't get me wrong, this game is amazing on PC. The graphics look amazing. I'm actually at, um... I don't think they have 8x uh, Anailah Singh. 
when this game came out, obviously, but... Is supposed to be, anyway. Do you think they understand everything we say? Oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron, for all we know. What now? Hey, 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 now! <laughs> There's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? Ignorance is bliss, isn't it? That's what the Chantry kept telling me, anyhow. Sorry, I like listening to the conversations. So if I stop, just let, just let, uh, just, let, just know that I, uh, I really want to listen to the conversation. Here. Master Federon you know runs us miners hard. Hardest thing since us the gun. Understand. Well, there's a couple of quests we can do. We're all special, big parts to play. Even you, especially you in some ways. You are the Mabari. You guard one of the most that, that, important people. Actually, um, I know she's going to ask for traps. I don't think I can make those, can I? You, yeah. you want to play, but I'm talking. Why doesn't anyone want to hear me talk? <laughs> Why does no one hear you talk, man? Skills, um, I don't have trap making. Morgan has herbalism, which is not surprising. Uh, before I talk to her, I'm going to see if I can't level up and get some traps. I know she's going to ask for elf fruit, though. I remember that much for the game. It's funny, you remember the small things, but never the big things. <laughs> You've got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> What's going on here? Ever since good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Damn. Okay. Too much to do, and not enough time. Uh, do you need any help? I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Yeah, I know about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. All right, so let's take a look at the journal. Let's see what uh, we can do. So, Fallen Templar. Three would suffice. Um, her bosom? Hey, nice. She actually gave us items to actually make them, too. Cool. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Nice. Got some cash for it, too. Yeah, like I said... I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough. Oh, wow. So everything's kind of tense, aren't they? Uh, let me actually do this, too. I know the dog's with us now, so we can actually... ...do this, too. So let's go to the tactic screen. Uh, condition. Let's see. Uh, if he sees an enemy, any attack. There we go. That way, no matter what happens, he won't just come back, do nothing. Um, self health, drain life, enemy health, self health, twenty five percent. Let's go ahead and do less. Or that's not bad at all. That's fine. If his health is low 25, go ahead and use item 
Abari Crunch. Perfect. And just in case we see an enemy. No, nope. if he sees an enemy, my bad. Attack. Sacred set. I wanna go ahead and do this quest right quick with the uh, bandits. What's this? You want one of my captors? I have nothing to say that would amuse you, Elf. Leave me in peace. I am telling you, every single person I have met right now has always complained that I'm an elf. For crying out loud. Um, are you a prisoner? Who put you here? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember the Kunari. They look so much more different in the second and third games. They actually have horns. You mock me. Or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave it to my fate. <laughs> What'd you do to end up in here? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Legion murder? The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. Ooh. That's pretty, uh... It's pretty rough. I agree. Are you guilty? Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. So I'm confused. He, he said that he's accused of being the one that killed the whole family, but I'm not sure if he actually did it or not. Maybe he did. I don't know. Let's just ask more questions. Either you have an enviable memory or a pitiable life to know nothing of regret. Yikes. Okay, then. Capturing you must have been difficult. There is no difficulty in capturing prey that surrenders. So, he killed the family, supposedly, and he just gave up. I waited for several days until the knights arrived. Why? Because I wished to. Okay, that's that's great. That's a really fleshed out answer. Okay. Um... Interested in atonement? Death will be my atonement. Um, well, there are other ways to redeem yourself. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? Oh, we get we can actually recruit him. Nice. The blight. Are you a grey warden then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the grey warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Yikes. Okay, so he's kind of being a little rough there. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not? So, yeah, the actual Kunaris are actually really weird in this game because they're not... Well, actually, you only see one Kunari, I believe. Um, oh, I think those are the bandits. Yep, they're the bandits. Yeah, they're actually weird. They went through a complete overhaul in, like, the um, actual second game. They were, like, extraordinarily, like... Oh, shit. Take a tough potion real quick. There we go. Activate this mode. Alright, nice. Uh, switch the bow now. Exit crossbow, my bad. Is it just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? 
Hopefully, I'll get some opportunities to get some more potions. It's either you or me, and it isn't going to be me. Too easy. So yeah, so having two ranged fighters and two up close fighters actually benefit a little bit. Hopefully, I'm not gonna die too many times, but the knight is still young. <laughs> I'm actually recording at night too, so <laughs> this should be easy enough. Ooh, that's our injury kit, nice. So far, yep, I forgot right. that, man. But yeah, they took a they changed a lot about um the Kunari because they were like totally different. They had horns in the second one and in Inquisition too. So I'm not entirely sure entirely sure that um, only one shall stand come on, come on. I the um, class system is really weird not to use that acid class but sometimes it's not very um, good really Oh, shit, he actually was putting strike on me. But this time it actually worked. I mean, ain't that some shit? Only one shall stand. Fear is your weakness. Oh, damn, I'm about to die. Alright, cool. Do a stunning strike. Perfect. Hopefully, these guys drop some potions. Not the kind of potions I need. <laughs> need some healing potions. Now, this other party over here, I remember them. They are the hardest because they have a whole bunch of archers. Um. Ooh, landmark tree. There we go. Huh. I think he gets a boost, doesn't he? Ah, okay. So it makes his defense a little bit better. Let me take that off and get my stand on the back. So... I actually have this too. I don't know why I never use this. Um, actually, I guess to use the ice bolts. I am an idiot. My bad. I, ca I keep forgetting I have to change that. There we go. Actually, let me switch back to my weapon. I want to go ahead and put some uh, poison on this. Acidic coating. Then I'll do the same thing for... Alistair. Oh. No, I don't think I can use that. With Alistair, I have to actually know. He has to have a poison, I think. Now, if I recall, go ahead and just. Oh, this should be. I realized the crossbow is a little slower than I thought it was. Let's actually boost that speed a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I can't believe you missed that. How do you miss that bag? I can switch to see. Oh shit, Alton's gonna die. Oh, never mind. He actually lived. I forgot I had a large one potion. Pop the next track, don't need that. Alright, nice. Giant spiders. I actually kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I don't think you can go in that cave, can you? I would call that cave, but. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and move they on. Should be easy enough. Toxin extract. Uh, let's see here. Now I know above this hill we got those guys. There's a lot of them too. A lot. Let's go ahead and just hit them with the ice bowl a little bit and draw them out. We can separate them a little bit and just kind of take them out and actually kind of survive a little bit more. Oh, nice. It's dead. Okay, cool. There's only four more. Now that guy with the, the whatchamacallit, that, uh, that great blade, he is uh, extraordinarily strong. He has that chain armor. You cannot win. Perfect. I guess he's not seeing it, I guess. Let those guys handle him. Show me what you've got. Just watching this really weird exchange of just like missing. <laughs> wow, this is actually pretty bad. Thank you. Alright, now these two. These two should be a little easier, but first before I do that, I am going to save because I know this might be a little difficult. Only one shall stand. Unbelievable. Let's make this quick. <laughs> yeah, one thing to do. Oh shit, he's like coming right up to me. Switch to that. Switch to speed. Oh shit, what did I tell you about that great sword? That great sword is something else. No, no. Crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. And it's already over. Never mind. I just realized I can... Okay, that's done. I was doing it manually. <laughs> I was doing it just by the mouse. I could just uh, switch it just like that. More, you know. So that's it. Quest completed. I gotta say, playing really old games like this makes me want to go back started. and play like a whole bunch of other stuff too. I know I'll probably mention it in my other videos, but I am really interested in going back and playing some PS2 titles. The thing is, though, it's like... Well... Oh, it's a little hard to record like that. I mean, I have the equipment, obviously, but sometimes the quality isn't that great. Or maybe I'm just, like, misrepresenting myself here. It's just a little hard, I guess. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Quest completed. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Right. See the guy from the mouse. When bears attack. Except. So you gotta go right back out there. Wow. You couldn't do this all at once, you think? Oh shit, I got three gold. Okay, nice. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna be able to level up one more time. Hopefully I'll be able to get some uh, trap making. Oh, there's wolves right there. Let's go ahead and uh, get some of these ranged attacks in. I can't believe I missed that. On your guard. At this point, I'm not splashing these fries, but <laughs> oh, there's a whole, there's three packs of them. Oh, shit. There is a whole bunch of them. Oh, shit. There is a lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice. Oh shit, Alice is down. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I really wish friendly fire was not enabled. I'm 
Just to get my health potions back. Nice. Alright, hold on. Let me do it. There we go. He's back. Oh, three health potions back. Nice. Four? Okay. I'm happy now. And if I'm not mistaken, after I take this, I should be able to, uh... You know what? I just realized that kid we saw on the bridge. That's this is his mother. She told him to run. I just realized that. That's sad. Wow, I, I I never realized it actually. But this game so many times it's not even funny. Oh shit! That's a, that's a large bear. How do you miss that close up? Yes, thank you. And I unlock specializations too. I didn't get anything for the bears. Okay. Well, let's level up. Let's increase strength to 18 for better armor and increase my cunning. Ah, I can't get trap making yet. Damn. Mm. I can get below the belt or I can get better at backstabbing. Can't get anything else here because I need uh, improved combat. So I'll do the um, combat movement. I'm wondering what it meant by I unlock specializations. Skills. Well, we'll see. I should have actually picked trap making. I don't know why I forgot. I always forget that. So the bears, I think, are done, right? Actually, let me check real quick. I'm going to go back if it's not all done. Yep, it's done. I just wanted to make sure of that. But so far, the reason I'm kind of going through these, like, tedious side missions is to level up and to get some better equipment eventually. But Let him take notice and shine upon thee. For thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. But seriously? That's it? That's got 50 silver? Let's do... Cutting. There we go. And I can do, I can't do this one, that's level 9. Threaten, don't need that one. Let's do, I need 25 strength. I can use shield wall. Nice. Let's actually buy some more stuff. <laughs> don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Alright, just don't buy everything up. All right, we're back. Sorry for that cut. Had to go ahead and change some stuff out. Thanks for that. Let's go to this place right here. We haven't went here yet. I know we get living on us somewhere. I was not sure. Got a brother that fell at Ostagar. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Regler. This should be easy enough. Sacred ashes is. Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe Knights were looking for it, as if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. I've got a cut of the the sacred ashes the too. In the yes. tower out on Lake well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh oh, low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? 
and everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Oh, damn. So that's Liliana. I forgot. <laughs> uh, it looks like he wants to fight. I'm happy to oblige. What makes you think we're traitors? Let's just ask him some questions before we get into combat. Tern Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the king. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. Well, that should escalate quickly. Oh, she stunned me. Oh, shit. Let's make this quick, shall we? Okay, stun, stun. Take a health potion real quick. Alright, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Fair enough. I'm not gonna go ahead and kill him. I didn't kill the guys on the bridge because it's a waste of effort. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and say it that we didn't betray King Kalen Logan did. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. How did how? The Terran left the king to die. The wardens led the king to his death. The turn could do nothing. This guy is like legit blind. I'm not gonna kill him though. I will say take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? Uh, he'll pay for what he's done. We're coming from him. We'd have to do better than this. Um, to the Grey Wardens actually know what happened. Yeah. I'll tell him right away now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering. But I couldn't just sit by and not help. It's alright, I was happy to save your life. <laughs> now she was doing actually pretty good, so let's say number four. I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Or oh, I was. Hmm. Huh. Is there something you want to, from me? You can call me Theron if you must. Um, let's do, let's uh, just keep it polite. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the Blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Okay, wow. That's... <laughs> why so eager to come, yeah. The Maker told me to. The maker is on my side. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Let's say, um, can you elaborate? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos will spread. The maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. I'm definitely not going to say no, obviously not. Very well. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Okay, awesome. So, I already got the male dominance thing, so I'm going to go ahead and just... Let him off, and I'm gonna take her. So we get to two rogues, a knight, a warrior, and a mage. It's a bit underwhelming, truth be told. Uh, so let's go ahead and first off check out her skills. She's good at stealing. Oh wow, she's really great at stealing. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and. Uh, you're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding run by the chantry. I've got other gear to sell. Um, don't worry about him. I took care of him. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. 
Show me what you got. Alright, sorry for that long cut. Had to uh, get all my stuff customized. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. He's got a quest sticker above his head. Not sticker. Uh, exclamation point. <laughs> exclamation point. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Oh, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. Poisons? <laughs> Maker's blood. Why do you need poison? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I have dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Uh, I'll see what I can Thanks. do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. A uh, poisonous proposition. It's funny. Uh, let's go to journal. Let's do flask of venom. Okay, cool. I can do that. Since I got a whole bunch of like flask of venom. Uh, I can do this one. Perfect. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock. Splendid! Oh, if those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, it's enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? <laughs> hey, 75. Nice. Hopefully, when my companions level up and I can actually, um. Let's see here. Oh, look. Look at that. Alright, let me do uh, herbalism. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of like. I got 21 potions. I feel better now. You're gonna make more trouble? We've about all we can stand in loathering now. He's got the porn stash. That's funny. <laughs> they had it coming, and they were trouble enough themselves. So, so long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we've a full house. Um. Let's talk about the case, Konari. That monster killed three families, torn them up like a beast. The cage is too good for him, but it's the Chantry's idea of mercy. Hmm. I saw some of you heard any rumors. There's knights from Redcliffe wandering the countryside, looking for the place where Andreste's sacred ashes are said to lie. Can you believe that? The urn holding her ashes is a myth, and yet these knights say they were sent to find it anyhow to heal Aralena. I didn't even know he was ill. Maybe he has a blight. If so, then times are even darker for Ferelden than any of us thought. Anything else I can get you? Yes, we should ask who those men we fought were. When Tian Logain marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. Yeah, keep that to yourself. I have no qualm with you, whatever the turn says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. What can I get you then? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, that hasn't been heard any rumors. Some folks aren't happy about Tian Logan being named Regent. There are rumors he had something to do with the King's death. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? The Darkspawn killed him, sure enough. If Tyrn Logan couldn't save the king from that end, then nobody could. Anything else I can get you? Hmm. Um, you can ask for the rooms, but I don't think he has any. Look around. People are sleeping on the floors and in the attic. That's how many rooms I don't have. I'll be going. Luck speed your way. All right, cool. Let's just go ahead and see what we can find in here. Deep mushroom. I want to go home. I'll not have any elves tracking dirt in. Out. I swear, bro. It's like everyone. <laughs> I don't remember facing this much discrimination in this game. <laughs> All right, played last time. Uh, let's go ahead and. So he went generally everywhere else, I think. 
We haven't got her yet because I'm trying to wait till one of my companions levels up and maybe I can uh get the traps. But I don't think that's gonna work. Tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. <laughs> what? Company? Do I even want to ask? No. You really don't. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's going on out here. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at Darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Wow. Um. Let's go ahead and see if we can just, uh, calm him down a little bit. I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Let's see. Let's actually choose you, poor man. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn. It must have been horrible. How'd you escape? No! I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by dog spawn. Wasting my time. This is ridiculous. Um let's see if we can persuade him. I ran. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. Oh, wow. You're not honoring her death by acting like this. Scaring these people won't get her back. That's number three. Are you calling me a coward? Of course not. Intimidate. Let's, um... <laughs> I'm calling you an idiot. Yeah, let's do that one. I... I have shamed my ancestors. <laughs> The blackness will come. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. <laughs> There's no hope for any of you fools, damn. Let's persuade again. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to dinner him. I know a lot of these, uh, one of the specific things I like about this game is the end game. Like, all of your decisions that you've done up till now, it's been actually, uh, whether it's helpful or not, you'll, you'll get to see the, the result of it. That's one of the reasons I love this game so much. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. That's the Chantry board. Let's go ahead and go to the, um, let's talk to this guy first. It's good to see you again, Sister Leliana. Thank you, Sir Maron. Oh, they know each other. Nice. Uh, who's in charge of this chantry? The revered mother runs the chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templar stationed here. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, yeah. I was asking about those bandits on the highway we encountered. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Nice. Um. Let's ask about the Kunari again. Is he still alive? The revered mother put him there a few weeks back. He'll be dead soon enough. Damn. He actually... A few weeks? Oh, shit. I didn't realize that. Damn. Make her watch over you. Alright, let's go with Chantry. This should be... There's a lot of people in here. Let's check out the tab button real quick. There's a chest over there, a book... More books. There's word of Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. 
We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Oh, this is the guy in charge of the Templars. Yes? Who might you be? Should I... Should I tell him the Grey Warden, or... I can just... I, I won't initially say that, because I think people are still, like, looking for me. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? No, I'm not. Then what might I do for you? Let's talk about the bands outside the village. You might get a reward for that. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Certainly, thank you, or your thanks is enough. I think you could get more XP if you say that. I'm not... I'll say, I'll say thank you, though. I, I need the money. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The Chanter's even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. All right, that's done. Um, I need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Uh, let's talk about the Canari. I'm interested in seeing if we can get Sin out of there. I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right, and the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. Uh, is there any way he can be released? You can ask the revered mother. I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. All right. Are you in charge here? Have you heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Theon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. Oh, so we had no heir? Hm. None that we know of. Theon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. That's a good analogy. Damn. Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Um, how do Templars fight against magic? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. So that's interesting. How do humans with no magical abilities learn how to actually do those spells? It's kind of interesting. In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. That's... Uh, uh, I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Yeah. I only got 20 silver for that? Wow. Oh. Um... Oh. Sucks. Let me go ahead and... Refugees, really. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. But if Arl Eamon is sick, why are you here? Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. So basically, one Arl Eamon, the guy who uh, we're supposed to go to, was actually sick. Um, 
Yeah, let's uh, tell him about. We're supposed to meet him. Why is that, if I may ask? I need his help against Terran Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Terran Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Terran has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Mm, do you think Loghain's involved with the Arl's illness? The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Alright. Shouldn't you be fleeing the Darkspawn? I'm not going to ask him that, obviously. Um, tell me about your quest. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tails. Let's learn more about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. <laughs> we we Dalish don't know, learn much about your religion. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesser exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Who is Sir Hendrick? My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Oh, that's the guy we found. Okay, yeah. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I drove off the bandits that killed him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. The note mentions someone named Brother Gina TV, so... I guess we can learn more about that later. Let's go ahead and talk to the... Word dispelled. Fear and ignorance. What was that? Let those who cry out from the shadow. The um come. the mother superior or whatever. Ooh, As you wish. Codex. Um oh there it is. Sacred Ashes of Andraste. Mayor of Fast Betrayal. Okay, so I remember a little bit about this. So Andraste was kind of like the pseudonym for the Christian Jesus Christ. She uh, spoke to the maker, basically. And Marco, Mayor of Faf, is that how you pronounce your name? Probably totally butchering it. My bad. Was the one that betrayed him. So she was like, he was like the, the Judas of Jesus, basically. And I think that what happened was they actually ended up burning her and, they, and somebody was able to grab her ashes and put them in some kind of holy secret place that no one really knows about. Uh, let's, let's get started. Ron's symbol of Andraste. I know certain gifts actually... Certain gifts actually resonate higher with um, certain companions, so... The key required. Hmm. I guess we can go ahead and talk to her. A book right there. Let me get that real quick. Number 50 experience the Imperial Chantry. So the Chantry controls. Well, the Chantry is basically the church, and the church also controls the mages and the circle of the magi, which I find a little bit on the nose. So they control a vast amount of actual political and uh, magical power. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I have nothing to offer. Who are you? <laughs> I'll go ahead and say I can donate some. Might I suggest 30 silver? 
Yes, the 30 silver. Thank you, my son. What can I do for you then? I was hoping to receive your blessing. Not many of your people join our devotions. How nice that you are an exception. I guess it's to be nice. In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over oh, his path. Oh, we're gonna actually bow too. That's interesting. Watch over his path, O Maker. Give him light in darkness. So let it be. Now, if there is nothing else. I want it to. Well, I can ask. She can. Hold on, that. I think I can ask her about that block, but I think I need to tell her I'm a great warden. Which kind of. Uh, I don't know. That might be a little risky, but I'll try. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Logain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Let's say that it was Logain that betrayed the king. Tern Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else? Is there any help you can provide the Great Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else? I thought she was going to give me that key to unlock that thing out there. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? I want him freed. I might have a use for him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Uh, persuade. I've come to return him to his people. Let's say if I can't just release him into my custody. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, your reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, your reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Yes. So I lost 30 silver, but I'm not sure how to unlock that gate, though. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. It doesn't keep required, but I'm not sure how to unlock the key. And then shall the maker return to us. The maker return I'm sorry, I cannot talk now. I must feed the holy brazier to ensure the flame never dies. What's the significance of the brazier? It represents the flames that burned Andraste herself. Do you know the tale? Yes, say that. The prophet was burned in the ancient city of Minrathus, before the ancient mages she had fought. Instead of dying in pain as the mages wanted, she was purified by the fire and taken by the Maker into the heavens to stand forever at his side. We are all sinners. The fire symbolizes our hope that forgiveness is possible. Thus, we all serve by feeding its flames. <laughs> so if I sin, I set myself on fire? Aren't there easier ways to get the fire going? Of course. The dwarves have offered us coal and special rocks. Even the Circle of Magi volunteered to provide magical flames. If that isn't irony, I don't know what is. The flame means little without the act of remembering and atoning for our sins. I think I understand. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Uh, I'll leave you alone. I wish you well. I'm not sure how to get that Let thing unlocked. I thought, the, I thought, um, Only the, word the, darkness of the, the mother would actually uh, give me that key. Let me ask Hello him. again. What can I do for you? Mm. I think he maybe gives me the key. Hold on, to me. I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Logan declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the king's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims, but either way, there it is. 
It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Is there any help you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Okay, so finally I got the key. Let me see if this opens it. Two things why I wanted this, because I... Damn it. I thought they were going to have that whatchamacallit in there. There was an item called the Elven Helm. It's Elven Armor, and uh, it really works good with rogues, but... Sometimes it doesn't proc. Now I feel like reloading like several times for it to show up, so I'll just move on, I guess. Uh, Alright, so we have almost everything done. We only have one thing left to do. Care where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? <laughs> it's funny as hell. Hold on. Let me see real quick. Yeah, there's no one that can actually do this one. I might as well just go ahead and get it over with. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. What do you need traps for? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Oh yeah, I, I, get, I actually helped him do that, so... Why not buy some? None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Sorry, I can't make traps. I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. That sucks. I really wanted to actually help her. Alright, well... Too bad. Should have actually made sure to, uh... You wish something more of me. That was the key to your cage. I confess. I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. Alright. Very well. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Thank you, Sen. Glad to have you with us. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Alright, so now I got a pretty good party now. Got two warriors, two rogues, one mage, and a dog. <laughs> Can't get better than that. I'm not going to equip Sten yet. Um, but that's it for right now. I've pretty much done everything that we need to. Oh, that's weird. We done heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! What? Are you- Oh shit, see, I knew not to actually do that. I don't know why I didn't. That was stupid for me. That's a lot going on right now. Go down, go down. Let's uh, get a little space here. Hold on. It's a whole bunch of cluttered half me. Get that backstab in. Nice. That sucks, man. I really didn't want to kill him, but I really want to see if I can get that item. Let's get started. Leather gloves cured. All right. I don't think there's anything up there, is there? I don't think there is. Nope, nothing. 
All right, so we got all the quests done, leveled up as much as we could. Really wanted to get as much items as I could before I moved on to the next area. Super glad I got all those flasks, though. So, there's two elf roots there. Let me actually, um... Crap. What? Oh, shit. Ah, crap. I propped that. Oh shit, there's a lot of I am not really a good frontline fighter, but I'm hoping this armor will help a little bit. That's why I kind of chose the bow as my, um, my go-to weapon. Okay, I'm gonna die. What? I, I went right past him. What the hell? I'm still getting used to this keyboard now. Somehow, I'm gonna be a pro by the end of this, though. I promise I will. Right. Right. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Um, I'm not going the same way. Trust me. Um... It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Now, both those guys actually appear in, I think, all three games. No, they don't appear in all three games. They don't appear in Inquisition, I don't think. I think you can actually use them, but they, you can't actually see them in Inquisition. For some reason, they're not in there. Blood Mage. Sealed letter. Maleficarum. What's that? The cache is this in the study area of Middle Alcoves. Goodbye. Huh. Alright, let me go ahead and grab the rest of these elf fruits before we leave. It's only a certain limited number of uh, certain things you can buy in a certain area, so you might as well just keep... get as much as you can. But I think this is the end of the Lothar Ring area. I think after this, we actually get to see the world open up a bit. dreams, huh? Uh, must have been something I ate. <laughs> it seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Why didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Any other surprises I should know about? 
Um, let's go ahead and say thank you. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Perfect. All right. All of your party's injuries are healed when you return to camp. Each party member can be found somewhere in the camp, making it an ideal location. Hand out new equipment, give gifts, and talk. All right, cool. All right, so this is where I'm probably going to end the video. That's a lot of stuff to do. I know that one right there is a DLC, Sandal, Morgan, everything else here. It's just how you can talk and interact with your characters. I will do one thing before I go. Um, I want to show you about the uh, gift setting system. So, depending on the gift and what exactly it is, it'll actually proc certain things. Like, for example, if I wanted to give the, something to Liliana, I know that she is a huge fan of religious symbols, like the bronze symbol of Andraste. If I give her this, no, hold on, my bad. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to use this damn thing. All right, uh, let's go ahead and give her gift. I, that's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Now it's plus twelve, so it's neutral. So right now she's kind of she doesn't hate me, but she's I'm on the way of actually. Making her, like, harden her, basically. He's neutral. I'm myself. Alistair's neutral as well. Morgan's neutral as well. Now, I don't remember. But I think this also is good for her, too. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Golden rope necklace. That's also good for her as well. I am grateful. Tis thoughtful indeed. There you go. And depending on how um, you like give gifts and actually choose better conversation topics and just talk to them overall, you'll get certain bonuses like the constitution, the cunning, to willpower, and so on and so forth. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave off. Uh, I've been recording for like five hours. Had to deal with a whole bunch of crashes. I finally figured out what was the problem. But I'll put that in the next video. But um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of my channel. 